Lots of conversations happen at the barber shop or the beauty salon. One former police officer who has returned home to St. Louis thinks the barber shop is the perfect place for police to engage with their communities. Fox 2's Michaela McGee spoke with the former officer who's making a big impact. It's we'll see all new at 6. Before Tyrone Dennis became the freshman boys basketball coach at Marquette and safety director for the Rockwood School District, he was a 16-year veteran police officer in Atlanta. Even in his new role, his mission is still the same. And so my goal is to continue to try to be the change that I want to see, to be the, be the voice that hasn't been heard and trying to bring people together. As an Atlanta officer, Dennis noticed the tension and mistrust between the community and police. In 2018, he created the Clippers and Cops program. In normal times, officers meet their fellow citizens at the barbershop for conversations. He is still actively working to create genuine working relationships between the two. And I think that a lot of our uh, officers do what they're supposed to do. Majority of us do what we're supposed to do and you don't hear about us. You don't hear about what we're doing. And I think that that's part of the problem as well. Dennis is being recognized as a special guest on TNT tonight before the NBA games begin. I'm going on the show to talk about social justice and change and different things that we can do to try to create change. And my program, Clippers and Cops, is basically the epitome of that. Now retired from the police force, Dennis has returned home to St. Louis to help local police departments rebuild relationships with the people they serve. He completed a bias-free police training course with the Ferguson Police Department Wednesday and was pleased with the conversations he heard. Someone in the class made a great statement, worked for St. Louis Police Department. He said, no longer can we just bridge the gap, we need to build the gap. The police need the community to be able to do what they need to do. Reporting, I'm Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News.